Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily. Today is Monday, March 4th, the first Monday after the first weekend of MLS action. And Simon, it was a it was a pretty amazing first weekend. I think there was a lot of buzz going on. We saw a lot of stuff on Twitter. I know I saw you on Twitter banging around at, at <laughs> Simon Borg, having some conversations with people. What were three things that you take away from this first weekend? Well, from Sunday, Greg, first, Diego Valeri, Portland Timbers, if he didn't already give hints of it during preseason, this guy is an MVP candidate, write it down right now. He has made that much of an impact on the Timbers, and every ball he touches, uh, it, he does something good with it. Every ball he delivers is pinpoint. The guy is very special, and he has the size. Who said a guy that big can be this good? Number one. Number two, the LA Galaxy. You know, I think we made a big deal, Lyon and Donovan and David Beckham, how important they are. It's less about the players with the Galaxy to me and more about the mechanisms they have in place as a team. Marcelo Sarvas, he gets the ball, he's firing just like David Beckham did, and it's working. And then lastly, Toronto FC, not as bad as everyone makes them out to be. I think these new, uh, these new acquisitions, once they get in place, they showed me a lot of good stuff. I love Kyle Becker where he plays. Earnshaw is going to be a difference maker to me. I like Toronto. Yeah, I thought that Toronto, their, their spacing and their positioning was very good on the road. They kept it very tight defensively against a very dynamic and fun Vancouver Whitecaps team. And, about the Galaxy, this is Mike McGee's team now. I never thought we'd ever say that, but maybe this is Mike McGee's team, a hat trick for the Galaxy. Go to MLSsoccer.com for all the scores and the highlights and everything about all the games uh, this past weekend. And if you have not seen the highlights from the Portland, New York game, make sure you check those out. That was a wild one. All right, well, this year we're bringing back, of course, the top three performers video that we did all through 2012, but it's a little bit different in 2013. You get to vote for the top three performers who make it into the video. Go to MLSsoccer.com slash top three to cast your vote. Simon, who were your top three performers in week one? Well, first off, Greg, it's Valeri at number one to me. Uh, then Ricardo Clark for the Houston Dynamo had a great all-around game all over the field, impacted both goals. Then lastly, Graham Zussi. Sporting Kansas City didn't have a, uh, an excellent performance all around. Round. But when it counted, he came up. Two assists and a goal. Uh, he's a difference maker. Remember, go to MLSsoccer.com slash top three to cast your vote for the top three performer. So while a lot of people were watching that Portland, New York game with the Timbers Army singing the national anthem, all of those goals, there were plenty of other people watching the U.S. U-20s take on Mexico in the final of the CONCACAF championship in Puebla, Mexico. U.S. came up short. It's a pretty great game, though, actually. It was a 1-1 after regulation, the U.S. lost 3-1, to one, bicycle and a penalty, pretty interesting, but uh, the U.S. showed very well in this. They did, and it's interesting the perception at least I had of this team, how it's evolved during the tournament. Mm. First, I saw these players who had so much confidence on the ball, and I thought showboating uh, in the first games of this tournament. Then we see them against Mexico, and that personality comes up, and you're like, these guys, this is the kind of character the U.S. needs to win games in difficult places like in Mexico against a crowd of 40,000. So I was impressed, and I think that's the lasting impression we get of this team. We have a class of players here who have a lot of personality who are not afraid of the big moment. Well, three MLS players, three U.S. players get into the best 11. All of them MLS players. Will Trapp from Columbus, Luis Gil from uh, Real Salt Lake, and uh, Villarreal, Jose Villarreal from the LA Galaxy. And actually, a fourth MLS or made it onto the best 11, Richard Sanchez from FC Dallas, the goalkeeper from Mexico. I thought actually the most interesting thing to come out of this entire thing was Jurgen Klinsmann's tweet. He went on Twitter right after the game and said congratulations to the U.S. and Tab Ramos and then said unlucky that two clear penalties were not given. So uh, Three penalties in Mexico against Mexico, <laughs> that's asking for a little too much. I think that was asking a lot too, but Klinsman stoking that rivalry. Don't forget the U.S. men's national team, the senior team, going down to Mexico on March 26th for a big World Cup qualifier. Before we get to CONCACAF Champions League action, a couple of quick notes and reminders. The first edition of Instant Replay for 2013 will come out. That video has all the most controversial and uh, sometimes kind of fun, actually, stuff that happened in week one of MLS, plus the very first goal of the week. So you get to vote for your favorite strike from match day one in MLS. Now, let's get to CCL. The Houston Dynamo hosting Santos Laguna at BBVA Compass Stadium on Tuesday night. It's at 8 p.m. The game is on Fox Soccer. Uh, so does this Dynamo team have what it takes to get past Santos Laguna? They have what it takes, no doubt, Greg. The question is, do they have enough time to prepare for this one? The Houston Dynamo playing on Saturday night. Santos Laguna, a full extra day of rest. They played on Friday night. Uh, so to me, that's that really plays into this, especially the Dynamo played such a tough, 
physical, hard-fought game. Dominic Kinner called it a man's game against DC United on Saturday. I, take, I think it took a lot out of them in terms of exertion. Uh, so it's going to be interesting now. The man management by Kinnear of this Dynamo side. He has a lot of confidence in his bench in his reserve side, um, but a lot of people draw the difference between Mexican teams and MLS teams saying the Mexican teams, they have greater depth. Yeah. And I think this kind of game is going to actually show is, if that statement is true. Well, we'll see. It's the first leg of the quarterfinals of CCL, Houston hosting Santos Laguna. And then later in the week, Seattle and LA have their first legs of the quarterfinals as well. So make sure you check out MLSsoccer.com for all of the information and news about the CCL. and. Hit us up on Twitter, at Gagens, at Simon Borg. Let us know how you think the Houston Dynamo are going to do, or you can just leave it down in the comments below. That's it for this daily. We'll talk to you tomorrow.